Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Khusham di ji aya nu. Khuye morik. Pakhair agale di hao. Juna shumme washmale o hai gunzaimus. Guten morgen. Hola. Bonjour. Privyat. Kaifa hal. Hale shumat chutore. Ahlan vasalan marhaba. Buna and a very amazing good morning to everybody who's tuned into PTU World and are actually tuned into the Eid special transmission for today. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the Eid day too. Everybody's having fun. It looks like that the families are having a reunion too as well. But other than that, let's get our conversation started with Shiza. First of all, Shiza, Eid Mubarak once again. Yeah, Mubarak. How Eid are Mubarak you? to you as well. I'm fine. I'm fine. How and how you? was your first day? My first day was uh, busy with family barbecues and everything. Wow. Uh, it was uh, a little time consuming and occupying, but it was fun, you know. <laughs> and how was yours? Well, you know, we were here well, yesterday. Well, for men, it's usually well. occupying because you oh. have to do the, you know, uh, sacrifice as well. Why would you... you why would you ask me if you have to answer my uh, okay, question? Okay, I'm sorry. Please go ahead. <laughs> no, but it's perfectly all right on need days. You know, you, you need to actually cut me some slack on need days because I can <laughs> behave like that. Yeah. It's perfectly all right. No you problem. know, I'm just energized of the fact that, you know, we get to enjoy the festivities. But there are two important things which I need to t say. And that is that obviously, you know, it's Eid Eid. But for men, it's hardly Eid because of the fact that, you know, you have to get up early in the morning, get your goat slaughtered, get your cow slaughtered, you know, collect the meat and all of that. So, and for me, it was very difficult because, you know, the, the cow was actually being slaughtered back at my grandfather's place okay, and they okay. called in and then they were like that, you know, that the meat's really not going to mm. make it. So, you, what you have to do is that you have to come earlier, okay. get the meat and go put it in the oh, freezer. Okay. So, what I had to do was that, you know, I couldn't get ready and mm. then I had to go there and, you know, pick up the meat, come back, dress up again, get the goat slaughtered. So, it was very difficult. Well, I have a question <laughs> though. Well, how early are the Eid prayers? I see a lot of men, a lot of boys crying about it, literally cribbing about it. We have to wake up so early for the prayers. But how early is it? It's it's almost around 7, 6.30, 7, 7.30, you know, there the are different timings. The mosque I went to, it was 7 and then, okay. you know, we had to be here for the live transmission too as well. Hmm. But I've got a very important message yeah. and uh, I guess it's for men out there as well, only for men. <laughs> I don't know how women might feel about it and that is, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the exactly same suit which I wore on the Eid Day <laughs> 1 last year. So, what I'm trying to say over here is that you really do not, you know, we men, we really do not have to dress up on Eid Day 1 anyways because of the fact that the type of work we are indulged in. So I, it's better that you actually buy a piece of cloth for somebody else, you yeah. know, who better deserves it, who get to enjoy it, or probably the underprivileged too as well. So let's start our conversation on this note. And yeah. I think this is what we need to do, you know, for all those people, you know, from within the armed forces who are at the borders or probably in the sea or in the air or, you know, defending our borders. Happy Eid Mubarak to you guys. Yeah. You, you know, for all those mothers who lost their kids in the Peshawar incident, we are just like your kids as well. We are going to celebrate it with you. And other than that, I think we need to actually remember all of those people who have rendered or probably sacrificed their lives for our motherland. Ladies and gentlemen, a very happy Eid Mubarak to all those parents, to, yeah, I have to, to all to those kids, mm -hmm. to all those mothers and fathers. Well, I have to add to that as well, you know, Eid Mubarak to all the Muslim brethren all around the world, especially the ones who are not probably free to celebrate exactly. today, who are probably under occupation of other forces. And, uh, you know, everyone who's probably bedridden as well, who is not allowed to go out to celebrate, who's not celebrating this time of the year with their family. We are with you and we love celebrating and sharing our Eid with you. Yeah, and one more thing, and that before before we introduce our very amazing guests over here, and that is that I've seen a lot of people, you know, in my family, you okay. know, I've got a lot of mutton lovers as well and beef lovers as yeah. well. Not really beef, but mutton lovers. Okay. So what they do is that, you know, whenever, you know, the goat's been slaughtered and, you know, you're collecting all the mutton or the beef or mm -hmm. whatsoever. So what happens is that, you know, I could see in their eyes that they want to save the best for <laughs> them, themselves. Or, you know, we have this uh, concept of, you yeah. know, keeping the hind legs for, for, you know, what do we call it? Ran, you know, that we're going to get it roasted and whatnot. I mean, that's your choice. That's not a problem. Yeah. But please make sure that you divide it equally, equally because one is for yourself, one portion is for your family, and one portion is for all the poor people who are out there. So let's not forget them whenever they're on the door make sure that you give them something. Yeah, no, you know, when you were just saying a while ago that men are usually not into dressing and, you know, getting ready for Eid and everything, that makes sense, but I don't think that is the right spirit. <laughs> I know you have to work in everything, but for women especially, I know that, you know, uh, women and ladies who have families have to work, uh, you know, a lot of the hours in the kitchen especially, yeah. even on Eid day. But even then, especially my mother as well, I have to like force her into it, please go get ready. We're going to take over the kitchen. I think that's the spirit of it because we girls as well who do not have families who are, you know, living with their parents especially mm -hmm. or living alone, whatever, we get our mehndi done, we get our bangles matching in our jewelry, everything ready a night before. But the mothers usually do not get time to do that. Exactly. So I, 
Yeah, yeah I'm assisting ahead. all of you mothers and all of you ladies who are going to spend the day in the kitchen to please get ready. And you, I'm pretty sure you have done the same on the first day of feed that was yesterday. But today, at least, you have to get ready. Take pictures. It's going to be lovely. Well, you know what we can do is we can change roles as well. You yeah. get the slaughter thing done, and we'll probably be <laughs> on to kalejis and portas as well. So <laughs> this is what it is. But this is the spirit of feed, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And let's see whom do we have with us. Yes, we are, we are very thankful that you know they took our time. On the second and, day. And because on the second day of feed, you know everybody's busy. Families coming over. Probably there's lunch or dinner, or you know they're going out for film. Jawani Phir Nahi Aani Two is out here, as well. Yeah. It's a great film. A few of my friends are in there as well. Ahmed Ali okay. Sahib, you know I've always been a great fan of yours. This is why. You know, he's the person that I am actually into television as well really? because okay. he was one of the judges when I was contesting for oh, VJ okay, Hunt as right, well. Right. So please, ladies and gentlemen, do take our time, support Pakistani cinema. Support But for content. now, you know, to celebrate Eid with the PTV World family and the entire nation out there, and to all of those people, you know, who are not in Pakistan, let's see whom do we have over here in the studios to celebrate Eid with. On my right hand side, ladies and gentlemen, you know she's uh, she's not a new face. You know she's been on the show earlier. She's done quite a lot of different types of work as well. That's why we call her a journalist. She's an anchor person. She's a host as well, and she's none other than Miss Mahamud Sadiq. Hello, Assalamualaikum. How are you? I don't know. Should I clap for myself? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really great intro. Thank, thank you, you very Shilpa. much for that. And Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to you too. Uh, thank you very much for joining us alongside Miss Mahamud Sadiq. We have been joined by somebody who's very picky about his name, so you cannot. <laughs> You know, go either way. So, ladies and gentlemen, he's the uh, chairman, Tariq Janan and Jarbanan, Jawanan. Yes, yes Tariq Jawanan. He's he's uh, none other than Mr. Muhammad Abdullah Hamid Gul. Hello, Assalamualaikum, Eid Mubarak. Waalaikum Assalam and thank you very much. And the correction is <laughs> Jawanan Pakistan. Jawanan. Chairman, for, 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 those, Javanan, Pakistan. for those who do not understand Urdu, you know, for them it is youth movement Pakistan. It, okay. That that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen, and we are part of that movement because I st still think that I've managed to be a boy. But <laughs> uh, alongside Muhammad Abdullah Hamid Gul Saab, we have been actually joined by somebody who's actually going to tell us how bad it is going to be if you're going to have too much of beef or <laughs> yeah. mutton or if your cholesterol level goes up as well. She's a family physician. She's none other than Dr. Uzma Shahid. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, Eid Mubarak. Wa alaikum assalam, Eid Mubarak. Thank you very Eid much Mubarak. for joining us. And last but not the least, we've even got somebody who's actually going to tell us how to get rid of the smell within the mutton or the beef. <laughs> And you see, see, nobody's talking about chicken. This is this is real tabdili. That's what it is. <laughs> And she's none other than Miss Hina Tariq, and she's a chef. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, Eid Mubarak. Assalam, Eid Mubarak to all of you. Thank you very Eid much Mubarak. for joining Eid. us. And Thank you, you know, uh, we have a tradition over here that no matter who. Comes on the show, yeah. they're supposed to give us ED first of all, and that's when we get started with the questions. Yeah. So let's. Whenever you guys are ready. First things first. <laughs> Come on, anybody. This oh. is the tabdili actually. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait, does it no more ED is for you. You know. Now the taboos are changed. Mm. Now you have to get. No, I still right. managed to be a boy, so come on. I, I think we can do that. But okay, it's fine. We can yeah. do that later as well. So, Ma, we'll get started with you. Yeah. How was your first day? What do you do on Eid? Uh, our first day has actually changed because we, you know, like traditional families. I think Eid is where your grandparents are. So I lost my grandparents like two years ago. So it's very difficult now because now Eid is like. Either at our home or my aunt's home, mm. so it's very simple. It's very to the point. Like my grandmother was very hands-on with the meat slaughtering and everything. Like she had it; it was her department. But now this year, the conversation was like, okay, you know, let's add a share to this and that, and it's not in the house anymore. So yeah. it was different this time around. Uh, but still, I mean, family gets together. We eat. We're foodies. Uh, we're Kashmiris, so we love food. And um, yeah, so it's all about eating and then. And napping and then waking up and eating more. <laughs> so that's how it was. Okay, that's great. Sir, what about you? How, how was your first day of Eid? Was it just like mine? Alhamdulillah, you know, my first of all, Eid Mubarak to all of uh, you know those who are watching us, and especially to the people of Kashmir, yeah. you know, who are celebrating with us. Uh, then, of course, uh, I think uh, hats off to the ladies because uh, they have to work really very hard. After slaughtering, you know, we men just uh, go and sit down and relax. But they have to, you know, settle down so with all the meat and etc. You know, giving <laughs> giving, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> giving uh, meat to the people, and then because uh, we have a large family, okay. and uh, we have to go to the native village and where we slaughter. But we got, uh, you know, we get lots of help from uh, the people over yeah. there, 
and then uh, we have to like uh, slaughter four or five cows and then you know we uh, normally you know what we do and then goats etc so it you know really it's a quite a messy thing but otherwise you know the women they have to wake up early uh, we want them to see you know uh, ready by the time we come from back from the masjid yeah. after yeah. offering our eid prayers so that is how it uh, goes on so i think yesterday was a very hectic day for them today is going to be the eid day <laughs> you know? so i uh, i would say that uh, it is very good but at the same time this eid since uh, it is uh, you know we call the eid kurban yes. or you know the eid ul adha so eid ul adha is supposed to be more of the sort of eating and relaxing but uh, on the you know eid ul uh, you know uh, what is known choti eid we yeah. call yeah, it yeah, choti yeah. so on that uh, eid, eid ul fitr we eid ul fitr we go around meet people yeah. because Spend now lot of today is the second day we have to go and now, meet yeah. people we have yeah. to you know greet them go to them and uh, take meat along yeah. and get meat in return also <laughs> that's true that's true that's right moving idea. on to dr osman now your profession specific you know especially i don't feel like you get any off days mm-hmm. but do you get any off days on eid though and how was your first day of eid it depends okay. uh, i actually you know uh, people who are working uh, at hospital mm-hmm. they do have duties right uh, the way police is serving and everybody right. so you know doctors uh, they are always occupied and busy hmm. but uh, my eid is like good because i go out of town like okay. mostly hmm. uh, in islamabad you know people go out of town but why didn't you go out this time then yeah. this is the second day <laughs> i came back for you guys oh, right, right, <laughs> that's, right. that's, 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 that's amazing okay but if you don't mind can i ask you your uh, husband's name uh, if you don't mind that shahid shahid so how many times do you actually stop him in the first day of eid the shahid don't eat this you know it's <laughs> it's, it's going to be very hazardous for you why are you why can why, why can't you listen it's, to me it's the other way around oh he, really yeah because <laughs> is he a doctor too as well no he's not and that is conscious about things no he 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 cannot eat meat on that day <laughs> <All> <laughs> right. it's, it's too much meat so i don't there are a lot of people who lover. have this problem yeah. yes yeah. indeed including me, which yes. is why we're going to move on to hina <laughs> hina is our chef for today ladies and gentlemen and we're going to ask her about different solutions yeah. but first things first hina as a chef I believe that you know that the entire family might be probably you know whenever they wake up on Eid day one are looking forward to coming to your place exactly. to have exactly. the best food. So what what went wrong <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you are absolutely right. Yeah, people love to come the home to my home. Dad uh, definitely I'll cook something different and something very special. Yeah. And uh, we do actually. Do you always come up with a new recipe? Yes, of course. <laughs> really always. <laughs> so, I'll try okay, to cook good. something different like Chinese or uh, I I don't cook ran vagaira okay. okay. and uh, no biryani and no pulao. Okay. But uh, barbecue. Barbecue okay. kebab yeah. and yes. uh, tikka boti Aye. people love to eat it <laughs> so you're saying my family my family has lots of stuff to eat why we waste yeah, time exactly. at our there home there's no yesterday. rest day at all on the eat day as well exactly yeah. right right i think that's how it is and which is why you know now what i want to ask is your you know your bestest childhood memory of uh, eid e kurba and i think i'm going to start from shiza oh. so sh- yeah shiza let's okay. let's see what, what's your best memory Um can I please like take a second turn because I'm thinking Okay then then I can <laughs> well, go, go ahead, ahead yes, I can go ahead with that so ladies and gentlemen uh, uh unfortunately my grandparents are not around now but you know they were the beacon of light where we used to go all our all our chachus uncles and everybody used to get together over there that was the best part of my life as well so what used to happen was you know the best memory is that you know now obviously we have to pray our eid ki namaz over there as well you know it's a, it's a big eid guy as well and then when we go back home so everybody's hungry okay <laughs> so now for us you know we've actually traveled from islamabad to rawalpindi to enjoy eid with their grandparents imagine what would actually happen to all those chachis who have to make the nashta for right. home, oh so God. many people knowing that it's eid day one yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit of trouble and you know I, i i could realize that you know if god forbid one day you know everybody thought of celebrating eid at our house oh. i'm probably just locking the doors i'm telling that nobody's coming in because <laughs> that's welcome. so much amount of work <laughs> yeah that's i think that's my most craziest uh, memory but i would love to thank you know my chachis and chachas mm-hmm. for being so supportive and making it possible so that the <laughs> 
family gets united. That's what you know, it is. You know, that's actually the thing we're going to talk about as well. The family values and the traditions of Eid, which were very specific to Eid, have changed over time. We're going to talk about that. But coming back to my memory, I can't say this is the best memory of my Eid, but this is just one memory that I can recall. So this one random Eid. I happened to witness a sacrifice, a slaughter of an oh animal, my. and ever since I've, I'm not able to eat meat on Eid day. Really? <laughs> so you're one of those ladies, you know, where, where you do get visitors to witness the slaughter and then there are a few ladies, oh, this is so disgusting. <laughs> oh no, I, I didn't do that, I mean, come on, but it's sort of, you know, it stayed in my head. You know, when I was eating, there was this, there were so many things. Yeah, there are people who've got these problems that, that, you know, okay, we cannot have eat come ghost or whatnot. But other than, let's move yeah, on to Maha. Right. Maha, your I'm craziest sure you memory do have an interesting one. on Eid Day 1 or Eid Day 2 of Eid Kurba from your childhood. Um, it's not crazy, but it's actually a lot of fun. We have a family tradition of playing this game that my I think my grandfather created. It's this lottery. So what we do is we collect not a lot of amount, but you know it started back in the day with like 10 rupees per head, and now it's gone up to, like my cousin keeps saying, the inflation rate is really high, <laughs> so it should be 500 per head. But uh, and my grandfather used to say, it's not a gamble, it's a game. <laughs> like we're just like having fun with right. it. So the eldest member picks, so we make like two pots. One has like family member names in it and the other has like first, second and third and the rest of them are like blank. So uh, the youngest member of the family, whichever kid is super excited. So they pick out a name and they pick out whatever and whatever award you get. So, um, and it was like a, like a little uh, family battle. Like we'd be like, oh yay, my brother won or like <laughs> our family got three prizes. So yeah, that's a game that we play like um, every year. It's just something fun that we so do. So did you, did you ever hit the jackpot? Sometimes, <laughs> yes. I don't think my luck was that great. <laughs> and I don't think any of my family members' luck was that great either. Like uh, this one cousin of mine, he always wins. I think he does something with the no, youngest but, one. But whenever you got lucky, what did you do with that 30, 40, 50 or 100 or 1,000? <laughs> I don't know. I probably gave it to some younger kids. Oh my God, man. <laughs> I mean, Why younger brothers you? are always like this. You know, younger brothers are always like this. Happy, please, yeah. You know. Can I have it? <laughs> yeah, and then you see their like tears like going up, and then they, <laughs> then you're just like you can't help it. You just give it to them. I think that's what it is. Uh, Sir, what about you? Well, uh, your craziest memories, uh, especially for the sacrifice Eid. Um, I remember when I was a kid. So we had a uh, you know big sheep at our home. And uh, we used to, you know, think that he is also our brother. How old were you? How old were you? At that time, I think I was six or something like seven. <laughs> but you know, we were really in love with that, and you know, we used to watch them, him, and you know, uh, to take him to the war. Hashtag humanity for animals. Wow, that's, that's but you good. know, he was genuine. I still believe that he was like. A brother. What did you name him? What was his name? His name was Matru. Matru. So, okay. <laughs> So, was a family so member. Mom, Matru was a family. But you know, <laughs> when the, you know, he was about to be slaughtered, you know, I started crying. Then, you know, you cannot do that. How can you slaughter? But how did, how did so, you deal with it? You know, it was really amazing. Then I was taken, you know, I was forced to take, you know, <laughs> to, to, to go, go away, go away yeah. from that place. And then, you know, he was sacrificed finally. But, you know, when I look back now, still I believe that, you know, he was very something close I think he me. might still be visiting you in your dream, man. You, all you need to do is focus a little more on Matru. But, you, know, I, you know, he definitely, uh, you know, uh, is a different thing. Uh, yeah. Now I belong to a military family. My father was a general, Hamid Gul. And uh, after him, so lots of responsibilities on me. I have to go greet people. People used to come earlier. Now I have to go to my uncles, etc. Exactly. Where you know, because in army yeah, culture, we, 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 we call everyone uncle. Yeah. You know, yeah. we grew because we grew together. Yeah. So the traditions are different. So we go there, but now. We are more responsible. We have to take care of the people, and especially the poor people. Meet lots of people. I am a politician myself, so yeah. lots of people they come to me. I have to go, uh, and we normally eat uh, palau, etc. Mm -hmm. Unlike the because now I'll probably shift because she <laughs> didn't. Uh, you know, uh, you would ha you should have done this program a <laughs> bit earlier. Actually, you know, <laughs> we could have all <laughs> gone together to her place <laughs> for <laughs> eating all the tikka and well, kebabs. Still one more day. <laughs> We've got one more day. But you know, there's one thing which I would love to ask, taking advantage of the opportunity. And this is from Shiza and Gulsa from you too as well. Okay. So every time on Eid, I still remember my one of my brother-in-laws was used to be in the army. So okay. he was serving, but now he's retired. So while he was serving on Bakra Eid, he used to tell me that I've got a bada khana. 
So, what's this bade khane ka concept with the armed forces? Well, uh, bade khana is not just on the Eid days, okay. but on uh, many other occasions as yeah, well. Yeah. But bade khana is basically eating with all the jawans, the soldiers, right. and the lower ranks, where you can, and, and they mix up together. You know, uh, I remember the, when the, the first bade khana as a GOC, when my father took over as GOC, one armor division in Multan, so he went to a bada khana and there was a separate table for him, you know, mm -hmm. with uh, all the cutlery and crockery shining over there. So he said, what nonsense is this? You know, <laughs> so bada khana is supposed to be hmm. mingling around Inclusive, with, the, yeah. with, with the, you know, uh, the basic strength of the yeah. armed forces. So he just went there, sat with them and, and, and the joy, you know, I still remember the, the <laughs> smile on the faces of the uh, soldiers was amazing. And from that day onwards, you know, the bada khana was, traditions changed, and now people go and sit with the soldiers. Mm. They enjoy food over there. Not uh, very uh, lavish food, but uh, it is much better. You know, what people believe that armed forces are really enjoying, no, not at all, <laughs> not at all. Nobody is willing to sacrifice his life for just 20,000 rupees or 30,000 rupees per month. True. It is something else. It is this Pakistan love passion, for yeah. them. This is a passion. This is their love. This, uh, you know, emotionally attachment to the uh, ideology of Pakistan. Yeah. Indeed. So, Indeed. Bada Khana is basically that in armed forces, uh, yes, you know, there is another thing which is known as Darbar. Okay. And in Darbar, when even you are a chief of army staff, you, you sit and, you know, then the soldiers are sitting in front of you, just a small chair and a table. And the soldiers, they just ask you, sir, what have you done this, you know, and, and in a very, you know, strong voice. And chief is answerable. Yeah. So this is the kind of people think that there is no democracy in the armed forces. But yes, there is democracy in the armed forces. Indeed, indeed, indeed. When the core commanders sit, they sit for eight, nine hours, longish meetings. But what they discuss? After discussion, okay, let's come back to eat. You know, it's eat, <laughs> eat, 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 in the surgery unit. Which and, year was it? Uh, was it in? Just don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry okay. for that. Uh, and uh, we were like, we were on duty and uh, our registrar, he brought, you know, uh, he made all, his wife made uh, food for us and he brought all the tikkas and everything and we enjoyed it. And on Eid day, you know, uh, what we are with, we, like we were house officers and we were just waiting okay, when people are going to come with appendix, <laughs> we had so many appendicitis and we were just waiting for those surgeries and we had so much chance on that day because our TMO was telling us don't, just wait and um, I did what, some 12 appendicectomies So you were expecting day? that? Yeah, we were expecting that. Because I, I guess that's the only time when you can actually sort your hands out yourself as well, okay, you know, we are doing because this now. Because people are eating like anything and you know, you, you do get so many patients. So, so it's like that. It was so very yeah, enjoyable okay. on that. You know what, you can give, give somebody a quick advice too as well, how to actually look after their uh, appetite or probably the diet. Obviously, uh, Pakistani nation is a meat lover nation. So uh, if you have a lot of meat, that does not mean that you have to eat Finish. it. Finish. Yeah. Yes, because the sunnah says that you have to you know, uh, give it to everyone. Yeah. So I would advise definitely well-cooked food because you know they are so and uh, even the it's undercooked is or right it's now, yeah. overcooked yes and they are just eating it <laughs> so it should be uh, properly cooked they should take in little amounts add vegetables and salads with it mm. because uh, not only meat should be taken it should be balanced with and, some right. salads and you know vegetables. i don't know that why do we have this habit of too much of bonifying as well that you know by the end of the day you know the masala or actually the mutton or the beef looks black <laughs> and you're like oh my god man i cannot even have that so, okay, that's fine, but we'll come back to that. We really want to ask you that, you know, what kind of problems do people face while, yes. you know, when they overeat. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go for a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. One, two, three. Eid Mubarak.
Welcome back to World This Morning, Eid Mubarak to everyone who's watching. For those who have just joined in, you uh, have joined into the live transmission of Eid Day 2 on PTV World. Exactly. And right before going on for a break, we were asking everyone what their favorite or the craziest memory for Eid, Eid al-Azhar especially is. And now it's time for Ms. Hina to answer this. Actually, I don't remember uh, too much memories, but okay. uh, when I started my job, uh, at that time, uh, my executive chef, he asked me to come on the duty, na? Mm -hmm. but I was, uh, no, sir, I will not come. Okay. But I have to, I came to the duty, but uh, suddenly I start remembering and I start crying that oh. I have to go to home, I have to go to home. Mm. And I uh, went to the HR that please send me to home, right. that everybody is over there and I am sitting here and doing duty. And then uh, they called to the executive chef and he said, no, you have to do the duty. Mm -hmm. But later on, they gave me the permission and the HR sent me back to the home and then I enjoyed. But that was the only <laughs> memory I remember. I hope they didn't send you permanently. No, you know, no, no, not at all. Know, who could go to the <laughs> but, HR but, department and be like, you know, send me home. <laughs> They'll be like, go home, you've got said, another person. Uh, don't do it next time. We will never send you again. <laughs> but did you do it next time? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay. That's all right, cool. so that's cool. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have a little bit of fun too as well. But let's see who's going to be a part of it first. So we've got a few riddles. And all you have to do is use your common sense. And we are going to give you something very special. <laughs> After the show, right? Or okay. not on the show. <laughs> so who are we going Off to start with? So shall let's we start with you? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, so let's do this. The journalists are usually <laughs> very intelligent. Larry's <laughs> father has five sons named 10, 20, 30, 40. Guess what would be the name of the fifth? 10, 20? <laughs> oh, my oh my God, no. numbers. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40. I don't know. Do you want me to ask the question again? Okay. 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 Larry's father has five sons named 10, 20, 30, 40. Guess what would be the name of the fifth? 50? No, Larry. Larry. Larry's father. Oh, my God. Oh, it's all right. So you have to focus. Moving on to you, Gulsa. <laughs> there was an airplane crash. Every single person on board died, but yet two people survived. How is this possible? There was an airplane crash. Every single person on board died, but yet two people survived. <laughs> How is this possible? Uh, everybody was on the plane. Yeah, yeah. The every plane, single person every died. Every single person but died. But two of them survived. Two of them survived. How? Uh, they were married. They're <laughs> 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 not single. <laughs> uh, okay, Dr. what goes up and down? But Actually, still... most of the sense has gone yesterday because, you know, we <laughs> ate so much of meat. <laughs> it's all right. I think all, all, all the power is actually going into digestion too as well. But move on. let's move on to Dr. Saiba. So, Dr. Saiba, what goes up and comes down but at the same time stays at the same place? Okay, this one I don't know. Hmm. It goes up, it comes down and stays at the same place. One, two, yeah. three, four, five. Stairs. 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 All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> How far can you walk into the woods? How, How far can you walk into the woods? We can't. <laughs> we can halfway. After that, you're walking out of the woods. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> well, let's move on. There okay, this one's tricky. This yeah, one's yeah. tricky to be honest. Yeah, if you throw a red stone into the blue sea, <laughs> what will it become? Red stone into the blue sea. Yeah. Purple. I don't know. Wet. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> okay. What can you never eat for breakfast? Um. What, um, I think the plate. Dinner or lunch? <laughs> oh, no. All right. What gets better and better the more it dries? What? What gets better and better the more it dries? Dry fruit. No, no. towel. Towel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Name the most recent year in which New Year's came before Christmas. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, ask me. All right, okay. But, uh, what goes up and never comes down? You just asked stairs. That. It was stairs. No. What goes up and never comes down. Oh, stairs, no. they go up, up and, and it comes down. down too as well. The soul like age, age, <laughs> age, age, <laughs> age, age, age. I think, I think this is it for now, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, so because we're not getting good vibe from our guests. <laughs> yeah, and this, this was a brain <laughs> booster in the, you know, <laughs> very he, early he in the morning. had a good answer. What goes up and never comes so, down is the soul. Yeah, the soul, you know. Oh, that can also that that Yeah, I think that can happen, but uh, <laughs> for, for a person who's actually intact with the soul, I don't think that it will work, <laughs> because otherwise, you know, he, he or she won't be able to ask. So, ladies and gentlemen, our guests have miserably failed, but it's perfectly <laughs> all right. We're still going to treat them. Actually, you all had 
get the answers <laughs> in your phone. Otherwise, <laughs> you could not have, I, I have let to, us I, ask. <laughs> I did know some of them. But I have a question to ask Dr. Rosemary. Should I go? Yeah, on? sure. Go ahead. Okay, well, your profession, I, we all know, it's very prestigious and Nobel. But has it ever happened to you that on festivities and on days like Eve, you know, patients come to you all the time. Of course, there are emergencies and everything. Did you ever turn them down because you were never. off and you were spending time with your family? No, never. Okay, why but? I mean, yeah, first of all, I it's mean, a responsibility not yeah, to turn them like down. She has taken an oath here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's in us, you know. Uh, I don't know about others, <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, once uh, you, you have been through so much, and I love my profession, yeah. so, you know, it's in me. So that is, you know, everybody is a priority. Mm. If I'm on a road and, you know, I can I see an accident, I have to, you know, I have to stop. I was in aeroplane uh, coming back from somewhere. So uh, there was an emergency okay. uh, on board and uh, they just asked if there's a doctor around. So I just went there, okay. treated the patient and they gave me so many. In the end, the patient was fine and they gave me so many free miles, you know. Wow. wow. So, <laughs> uh, so this also happens, but we can never turn down. And you know, Shiza, I think you asked this question from the wrong person as well, who was actually looking forward to a patient with appendix when she was on a house <laughs> job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think she's always ready to treat whoever's exactly. out there as well. But uh, you know, what we need to do is we need to ask you, what are the most common problems people show up with on need day one, day two, or day three? Okay. Uh, the most uh, common is because of the spicy food so gastritis, you know, uh, they have uh, burning sensations and uh, uh, diarrheas, vomitings, and uh, later, you know, appendix is also <laughs> one of it. Uh, but uh, that is, you know, that's rare. But uh, people who have chronic illnesses, yeah. like people who have diabetes, hypertension, and who have hyperuricemia, you know, uric acid levels goes up, uh, those, pa those people, you know, they suffer more. And so they should be very uh, particular about what they are eating. Mm -hmm. uh, usually you, you see diabetics and everybody, they want to enjoy the festival yeah. and they want to eat. So we do tell them that you can have it, but you know, in a, uh, you have to take your medicines yeah. and uh, it should be taken in a limited amount. Right. Okay, one, one more thing very quickly and that is that I've seen a lot of people who are diabetic and you know, who actually have to inject insulin. So what they do is, I mean, one of my chachu does that. So, so you know, <laughs> when he injects insulin, he's like, I'm free to eat whatever I want. Is it's, it like that? No, it's not like that because you know uh, you cannot take. Uh, there are there is a limit to the units that you can avail. Okay. So you cannot uh, just keep on injecting insulin and eating. It's not like that. So have you because utilized all your miles anyways? <laughs> 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 it's just like yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, well, that's uh, great. You know, you know what usually happens on Eid, on Eid days usually. You know, on every other Eid, um, every house or every single person, especially, has a very uh, different. Swedish probably or any dish that particular to them and that they make every time. Do you have one? Yes. Okay, what is it? Bread pudding it is. You, you can make bread pudding. Oh, I cannot make bread pudding, but I can eat it. Well, <laughs> That's what, what it is. <laughs> and I'm talking and about I, the ones that I can it. make. No, I, uh, I think the only sweet dish I can make is a meatha anda. Well, I'm okay, not necessarily it, yeah. sweet dish, but what is a meatha anda? Yeah, what is Me a meatha anda? Well, it, it, it is a wonderful thing, you know. Yeah, it, it, it is, is yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Try having a meatha anda with the desi ghee ka no, parata. Nothing, nothing you like it. Enjoy nothing it. Like I know a meatha parata, but you guys have never ever had a meatha anda. I don't know what it is. This is the first time I'm French. French toast. Your French, like French, no, no, French no, toast is, is, is. It is not even near it. <laughs> it's sweet egg on 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 the toast, but yeah. it's it's on it on. You know that's no. that's how you know like that's we have scrambled egg. Yeah. yeah. Like we put uh, pepper in, like we put hot chilies in. So you just put sugar in, and it's so amazing. Well, okay, no. we'll get back to that. But we have to ask our guests as well what they prepare for Eid, what their uh, favorite and special dishes yeah. are. But after a very short break, All stay right, tuned. Eid Mubarak. I'm having fun. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. For everybody who just got tuned into PT World, a very happy Eid Mubarak on behalf of the entire channel and on behalf of the entire nation of Pakistan as well. 
for everybody, for every Muslim out there who's actually celebrating Eid al Azha, please make sure that you remember each and every member of your family and all of those people who are out on the streets too, or probably are not as privileged as we are. We are having a lot of fun over here. We are very glad that you know our amazing guests made it on time yeah. too as well. You know, leaving behind their family. So a rich tribute to all of you too as well. Yeah. But now what I want to ask is a very different question okay. from uh, one of our guests. Her name is Maha Musaddi. She's a journalist. Yeah. So, you know, the life of a journalist is very different. Uh, they, they're always looking forward to something very new. They're always looking forward to probably, I'm not saying that you, you do it, or to probably create a controversy or to probably <laughs> answer a controversy or either way. Hmm. So on Eid, you know, everybody's quiet. Nobody's talking about, you know, who's actually going to take an oath or who's probably yeah. coming up, who's going down. So how do you spend your Eid? Do you get bored that, you know, I just want to get back to work? Uh, you know, life in the newsroom during Eid is very different. For TV, it's different because um, we still have to come up with content. So yeah. for us, if it's like good content, bad content, at times when there's like no story, it's actually more stressful. And around Eid time, I remember uh, when I was in the newsroom, there were days that uh, people would go back to their hometowns. Or, and so we were like understaffed. And then we were like less stories. So we had to like actually create more mm. content, which was right. more work for us. Yeah. So um, as relaxing as it was to walk into a newsroom and have like an empty newsroom, it's actually very stressful when you have lesser people and you still have to come up with content. I was having this conversation with someone yesterday that there's, there's no off day for news. Like mm. every single day, right. you guys are working on Eid, we are working on Eid. It's never off. Yeah. You you know, it actually, that's true. A lot of my friends ask me, how are you working on weekends? You're lying, you don't work on weekends. Have you ever seen a channel not run on weekends? <laughs> <laughs> the channel runs 24-7, yeah. you know, literally. So there are literally no And, and which is why I'm going to ask you, so what kind of content do you usually <laughs> come up on these days? Because I'm sorry, but I've seen which is that. So, you know, the, in those days, you know, when it's Eid, ladies and gentlemen, I think the most of the phattas would say, Khabatino Hazrat, you take it to breaking news, Gawal Mandi ki ek gali ke andar ek bail nale mein gir kar zakhmi ho gaya. So you know, this is, this is the type of content which we see. So how difficult it is on Eid days then? See, newspaper is a bit more structured because we obviously know that, you know, Eid is coming up. So there's a lot of stuff that we put in archive that will yeah. fill like, you know, most of the pages. But TV channels, yes, like they have to make sure a cow <laughs> falls into a well for them to make a news report out of it. So, yeah, it's, it's stressful. I think for TV, it's more stressful. Newspaper is more structured. Uh, but it, it is difficult. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, just the other day on Facebook, I came across a video. There was this reporter girl who was standing in a barber shop and she, so this this is how the intro goes. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here in a barber shop because everyone likes to get ready for Eid and everything. Men like to get ready, women like to get ready. But this is a different kind of barber shop. It was for goats. Wow. Well, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this Where was it? Was it in Pakistan? Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Somewhere in Lahore probably. I don't know. No, but I'll <laughs> link it to you. You have to watch yeah, it. I, I know a few artisans as well because, you know, when you get to, if you get to go to the Mandi, ladies and gentlemen, which unfortunately now you don't have a chance, <laughs> but you do, you know, you can still go. But there are people who actually, you know, carve things on uh, camel skins as well. Okay. And it looks superb. It looks beautiful too as well. But, you know, why do you have to do that? Because by the end of the day, you're going to give that skin some, to somebody else, you know, who are very needy too as well. Please make sure that you use the skin mm. for the right purpose as yeah, well. Yeah. And moving on to you, sir. Now, since, uh, you know, you've got a, your political career, you know, you're a chairman of, of an entire Tariq, which is for the youngsters as well, the youngster movement of Pakistan. So how many people do come over to your place and then we're like, okay, sir, we wanted to greet you, Ethan, you know, how busy are you? Uh, I get very busy, but, uh, you know, normally the first day, especially the, you know, uh, both Eids, uh, my father, you know, opened up a orphanage long time back okay. and for, for the girls only. There yeah. are 269 girls there. So we try and go there, celebrate with them, wow. spend some time. And you know, by God, the joy and the feelings what we go get over there and the smile from the girls, uh, it is just beyond explanation. Uh, then comes, of course, uh, it is like hundreds and hundreds of people who come alhamdulillah and greet us and you know i also try to take our time to go and meet around people but that is only possible after the second or third or even sometime the fourth day i have to go to my uncles etc yeah. to greet them and and of course my relatives but uh, yes uh, it is like a uh, because the public relationing is something different and it's very important and this is one day where we can just uh, go and sit down, 
I also invite people to my office where you know they can come uh, and we can have a bigger gathering where we can uh, meet uh, people. But uh, definitely when you are in a civilian life, you are in a public life, you do not have time for yeah. yourself. Yeah. You, you are that's there, so that's what it is. Which is why we're going to move on to Ms. Hena over here. So Ms. Hena, please give us a few quick tips, you know, uh, what different can be cooked this time? I mean, other than kaleji pote, I'm done with that. You know, yeah. it, it's it's 30 years of my life that which has actually gone down the line. Go and, and make some uh, delicious barbecue, Afghani cuisine. Don't oh, uh, Afghani always cuisine. go for the <laughs> raan and kaleji pota. Yeah. Yeah. Make something different, steaks and uh, Chinese as well. Okay. Like people love to eat beef bihari and, um, uh, you know, Chinese beef chili. Mm. Yeah. Right. Right. And you can make some uh, pasta. Okay. Okay. With the beef. Lasagna as well, as well yes. But do not store too much uh, <laughs> beef and uh, undercut ka gosh uh, okay. just for yourself to make some steaks. Go for the salads as well. Yeah. Do not forget the healthy food but uh, can you eating habits. Otherwise, you have to visit the doctor <laughs> Uzma <laughs> at the end of the day. So, so uh, I'm asking, can you incorporate meat, any sort of meat in the salads as well? Yes, you can. Okay. Roast some beef hmm. and uh, cut it okay. in a slice or a julienne, whatever you like. Hmm. And uh, mix it with the uh, fresh fruits like we have uh, peaches here, iceberg, cucumber, yeah. tomatoes. Yeah. Mix it up with the uh, little uh, spoons of uh, olive oil, extra virgin okay, olive oil, let me ask and you salt know. and pepper. Okay, and now you will enjoy a lot. Okay, so we have a plate of salad over here. We have fruits and vegetables cut into it. How will you make this look good and taste good? Because um, having having mutton or beef with <laughs> fruits is is just a little different <laughs> in my head. Yeah. I yeah. know it's very difficult uh, on the eat day to eat uh, uh, fresh fruits hmm. with the bakra <laughs> eat yeah. and right. Uh, right. barbecue plate. Hmm. But uh, when you cook some barbecue, you can add uh, barbecue with your salad like in the pasta as I told you and uh, with the, some uh, onions, green chilies, capsicum, tomato, mix it all very well and put it in the uh, beautiful large uh, bowl and add some mint leaves and some uh, olive oil and lemon juice as well okay. on the top. So, so, so which fruits and vegetables delicious. do we have within this plate and what can we do with these ones? You just mix it up. That's it? Yes. Okay. And, and drizzle some olive oil and uh, lemon juice. And do we put some sauce, for example, thousander, you know, yes, which you we put can. on salad. Oh, I love, want, I love that one. When the program is going to finish because, you know, I But if you're going for the healthy food, don't add some cocktail dressings. Just drizzle some olive oil and lemon juice. That's it. That's it. Wow, so ladies and gentlemen, that, there you go. So, you know, if you want to have something <laughs> different and if you've watched our show, yeah. please make sure that you tell your mother, sister, or if you yourself are cooking, yeah. these are the few quick tips which we can give you. But other than that, let's come back to Dog Cyber where. So, Dog Cyber, you've told us that, you know, people with probably hypertension, people with diabetes, you know, they can face a few problems and they really need to be careful about their units. What are some other common problems as well? For example, if the goat wasn't really, or if the meat wasn't really washed well, do you think that there can be problems? Definitely, uh, you know, uh, the, the meat should be washed first and then it should be kept for some time and then washed and then it should be taken yeah. and it should be cooked. Uh, uh, definitely the cooking is, uh, if it's undercooked or on Barbie it's overcooked, then they have stomach, you know, cramps, yeah. abdominal cramps. It's all related to the GI mm -hmm. tract, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Uh, digestive system is not, uh, they are just loading food. Uh, so vomitings and you know things these are the same things that happen but i can relate it to i can relate to it so much when 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 you said gi tract because you know i was a student of medicine too <laughs> okay. myself i didn't go i have no idea what happened but you know very quickly yes. now we want you guys to tell us how are you going to spend your uh, day today and are you guys going to watch our joani pinayani too yeah. or do you have any other plans with your friends yeah or any message you want yeah. to give out to the public uh, I think the message, uh, the one message that you guys have been giving earlier is actually very nice and uh, I think it's time to spend with people who are underprivileged, who need that kind of love and attention. We should share, we should give back and uh, that's one thing that this, uh, you know, season is about which is actually giving back to the community be it in form of meat or money or clothes or anything that brings like joy and happiness in other people's lives so i think that should definitely be done and uh, how i'm going to spend my mm -hmm. day is probably yeah maybe i'll go watch a movie yeah. i watch every movie that's out so i'll probably go watch a movie go out with my friends 
or invite them over because I'll be lazy in my <laughs> night suit. So I just tell them to come over and have leftovers or whatever is left. Um, yeah, so that's how. Oh, it's hospitable been. leftovers. <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> come have leftovers. <laughs> that's yeah. great. Thank you very much, Maha, for joining us. It <laughs> was great so to much. have you, Inwar, once again. What about you, sir? Well, um, there is one thing which I wanted to share. You know that uh, once I had a very good experience at Eid also, but that was Eid al Fitr. Oh. You know. Okay. We were in Afghanistan. We, uh, you know, offered Eid prayers, and that same day, you know, we came back to Pakistan. Mm. And in Pakistan, there was still fast going on. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> naturally, and you know, the worst thing happened that the other day was also fast. Oh God! Okay. <laughs> so in just three days, and the next day was Eid. Wow. So. After Eid, because you know, after the whole of Ramadan, so after we celebrated Eid, and then you know, next day we again had to you know yeah. keep the fast, and then the next day was Eid. So this was something wow. very strange, uh, you know. But as far as uh, you know, what are what we are going to do? Meet people, mm. you know, greet people, yeah. take uh, and especially, we give uh, holidays. To the aids we have in the house, yeah. you know, we call servants or whatever, yeah. you know. So let them enjoy their yeah. life with their families, etc. So we give them, you know, time so that they go, right. and we do the rest of the things by ourselves. I think it's so I concept. wash my vehicles and mm -hmm. uh, polish them <laughs> if I get. So you keep time. yourself busy yeah. if okay. I get time. <laughs> I think it's a great message yeah. as well. But next time, do not take the goats from the Monday to your house in your car. So you have to wash them all. <laughs> no, <easier>. not <laughs> at all. For that purpose, we <laughs> have a double brother. cable pickup. <laughs> but as far as dog Saba was concerned, you know. This all message was for those who, you know, they really have sensitive exactly. stomachs. But, yeah. but for us, we are lakad hazam pathar hazam. Don't worry about that, that, it. That's all right. Dr. Saiba. Okay. Um, definitely, uh, our day has started very nicely here. Uh, with, I'm going to spend my day with my family. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I would uh, just uh, ask uh, people to have a healthy eat. Hmm. And uh, prevention is better than cure. And the thing is, you should have a uh, little amount of everything so that you can enjoy it for three days, you know. Yeah. Eat this well, for I three days, just exactly. have little chunks and, you know, uh, and... Uh, this is how it should be. Okay. I'm, very, I'm very sorry that I'm getting naughty too as well. But Miss Inal, you know, please go ahead. You know, uh, tell us what you're going well, to do. Well, uh, Eid is a day with your fam. Spend your day with your family, yeah. especially with your kids with your grandparents and your neighbors, your family, call them, <laughs> make some delicious food for right. them yeah. with the love as well yeah. and call them. I okay. think that's she, should, she should have a break on it. And, and <laughs> our plan should, should be, have a break. our plan <laughs> for the rest of the day, <laughs> we are all going to <laughs> 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 house no, she's going for to all those no. pickups and come up. I think we can certainly do that. I think we can certainly do that. But thank you very much for joining us. Once again, a very happy Eid Mubarak. I don't know why I keep on saying happy Eid Mubarak. Yeah, I don't know. But that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. So Eid Mubarak. And right now, we're going to wrap up this segment. This is a special transmission. We're going to go for another hour or two as well. We've been joined by another very amazing, superb, uh, rising, talented band as well. Uh, and that's what we're going to They've do. We've been on the show before, them. and yes. we can promise you that the next segment is going to be full of energy. Yes. Just and like I have to one. say one more thing, as Dr. Uzma keeps on saying, that, you know, eat healthy and everything. No one is literally going to listen to you, first of all, because <laughs> it's eat. I know it means a lot eating healthy, but you cannot literally control your, you know, there's so much you want to have. There's so many different options in front of you. I don't think you can control. But we will have to leave it the, on this note. Eid Mubarak to everyone who's watching. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. And uh, let's take a break. Good morning.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching the live transmission of Eid Day 2 on VTV World alongside Shazad Khan and Shazad Hashmi. Eid Mubarak to everyone who's watching and Eid Mubarak to you again. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Eid in the first you segment, too. yeah, thank you so much. Eid, in the first, uh, you know, segment, we had such a fun time. It was actually, we had people from different walks of life. Yes. We had a journalist, we had a chef, we had a doctor and a politician as well. And we discussed of how they spend the first day of their Eid and how they're going to spend the second day of the, their Eid. And in this segment, we have a very, you know, energetic, and uh, I don't know how to say full of charisma, a band who, who have been here before, they're called mm -hmm. Thul. And uh, music is, I think, one of the ways to celebrate as well, you know. So exactly. it was imperative for us to call a band for the Eid show as well. So ladies and gentlemen, on my right hand side, very quickly, we have been joined by Daniel Aslam, who's actually the vocalist yes. of the Thul band as well. Hello, Aslam Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to you, you as well. You look great, you look sharp too as well. <laughs> Thank well, you very much for joining us. Alongside Daniel Aslam, we have been joined by Mubeen Inam, who's the percussionist of the band. Hello. Hello, Eid Mubarak. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely perfect. Your bass code is on point. Very mm -hmm. nice. Alongside Mr. Mubeen, we have been joined by Sayyid Ali Kamran as well. Hello, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. You, you look great too you. as well. The color of your waistcoat is superb. Thank I you. think the entire band actually thought about wearing waistcoats <laughs> as well. And last but not the least, we have been joined by Hamza Mughal. Hello, Hamza. Eid Mubarak. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. So very quickly, how was your first day, guys? Yeah. Um, well, you know, uh, Eid al-Adha keeps you a bit busy. Yeah. Uh, well, as compared to Eid al-Fitr. Uh, so, like, uh, you spend half of your day in, like, uh, Qurbani and, like, and uh, uh, distributing well. all the meat. And uh, so, it was fun. And it was good. Where did you get to attend family barbecues and everything? Uh, not on the first day. Okay, well, but today would, maybe? Yeah. Okay, uh, perfect. But today, he's, he's planning on something today, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Yeah. Yesterday, he was busy. Mubin, what about you? It was a busy day. Uh, Went to the mosque for the prayer and uh, came back, family gathering, and you know, there's a proper breakfast at our place okay. on the first day, where the whole family comes. So every year, every year. Wow. So Idul basically, Idul it's a burden board. for your mom and sister, <laughs> and uncle, aunt, everyone. But who prepares the breakfast? Yeah, no, my, my, my uh, mom hmm. and sister. Okay. Don't they complain? That's you know, why wife. every year, you know, our house, you know, why do we have to be at a, <laughs> our place? It's a family tradition. Okay, okay. that's okay. That's how it's, it it's been long You know what, I'm, I'm assuming that your father is actually the eldest out of the brothers and sisters and that might probably be yes, the reason. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right, so, you know, uh, you deserve it. <laughs> it's perfectly all right. Then what happened after the breakfast? Uh, after the breakfast, um, me and my wife, we go to our, uh, my in-laws actually. Are you married oh. already? Yeah, I have a daughter. Wow, that's cool, man. Masha, that's cool. Masha. Thank you. And the only reason, ladies and gentlemen, why I'm asking him is because uh, he's definitely very young because of the fact that, you know, me and his sister were class fellows in the same university as well. And I could never think of that, that he was, <laughs> he was married. He but that's, that's so cool. Fast. Thank you. And then how different it is for a married man to be... It's been two years now and I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's cool. What about you, sir? Uh, as usual. Kurbani, hmm. and then went to sleep. <laughs> That's it. Straight away. That's the best well, what, time, what time do you get free? Because you know, I know that they are very clever people as well. Uh, that you know, they they actually get the butchers before yeah. uh, even the namaz, and then as soon as That's they get we your, well, as this time as we were not lucky. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry for calling you clever, though. <laughs> uh, we are clever. This time we were not lucky, uh, like the last few years, but uh, we still managed to uh, wrap it up uh, by the noon. Okay, very yeah, nice. that's what we do by 11 or 12 ish. We're yes, exactly. done and dusted with all the meat, everything, and we, you know, go to go for the day. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Hamza, what about you? Uh, first day uh, it was hectic. Uh, all, all the families in Saudi Arabia, so okay. all the burden is on one uh, shoulders. So first day is so hectic for me. Uh, I'm planning to go somewhere on second day. So no, but <laughs> since your family's in Saudi, how is it hectic? What do you do? All the burden is on me, like your oh, the and the okay, distribution okay, of sense. meat, right, uh, right. all the burden of me. I hope you don't take out money from the budget. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> no. Hello, you know, have, nobody's watching me. He definitely you know, what I can do is does. buy, buy, a, buy a smaller goat and, you know, treat my friends with the rest of the money. Do you, have you ever done that, though? No, no, no. Have I you ever? No, I didn't. Come on. No, no, I didn't. Hazar Panso. No, I didn't. No, I don't need Yeah, don't do that, don't do that, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, this is, this is an activity which our religion binds us to yeah. do that and we really need to be honest with that too as well. So on this day, what are you guys sharing with us? Uh, well, uh, uh, it's a kalam of Baba Bulla Shah. Okay. And uh, uh, it's been long, uh, we have never covered it. Like, uh, let's on do the it. Next stage, so let's. Let's do it. <coughs> this is Dhul Band, ladies and gentlemen, on PTV World <laughs> and on the e-transmission of World this morning. Eid Mubarak. <laughs>
beautiful. That was, beautiful. That was superb. Yeah, yes. and you know, it got me pumped up too as well. <laughs> which is why now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is that we're going this to play. This is so a, exciting. Yeah, yeah. We, we're going to play a game with that. We're sure that you know you might have actually seen it on television. You might have played it with your siblings. So the name is. Never have I ever. Yeah, and we've got very different questions. And thank God that because we only had four play cards as well. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. please distribute. To all of your band members. Meanwhile, we're going to take out the questions, yes. which have actually been written by Shuza Hashmi too, as well. And be honest. <laughs> yeah. Make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see what, what do they have to say. Okay. Okay. So if you've done it, you show us the tick. If if you haven't, you show us the cross. Okay. Okay. Should I go first? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I, I think I should go first. Yeah. Please do. Okay. So never have I ever used a public toilet. <laughs> so. How, how does it work? So, th so that means that he's used the public toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have, yeah. right? Yeah. You guys haven't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, how burger are you? Never, ever. <laughs> Never. Well, what about on while you were on motorway? You know, while you were on motorway? Emergency. While you? Oh, come on, don't lie. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure yeah, everyone I, has. I believe uh, uh, the public toilets at the motorway are different. Like, uh, <laughs> no, no, they're public toilets because <laughs> public <laughs> uses well, them. It's yes, it's yeah, it's a yes. Okay, it's we've yes. got, we've got to change. Go ahead, go move on to the yes now. Well, I believe it was a stereotypical. Uh, or just a mall, mall you know. Yeah. Mall, yeah. Uh, anywhere, you know, or a restaurant, you know, where public uses the toilet. Are, are you are you talking about the one who actually charges five rupees too as well? Yeah. Or oh, they want to charge fifty rupees? This so clean. You guys yeah, should yeah. do that. Anyway, moving on. Okay, this was fun. Some of you lied, but it's okay. We move on. This is disgusting. Never have I ever put gum under a table. No. Be oh, honest. He's, he's done it. Okay, I like you Bean's because he's being it. honest. Bean's yes. He's done it. You know those those armrest chairs where you just you know no. you're just playing Especially and all of a sudden you're like, what is oh. this? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's horrendous. Well, Don't do a, that. A good idea. Like uh, I can I can uh, use do it, it for now. some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Never have I ever tasted dog or cat food. You must have pets, no. right? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, I think he was about to say yes. Okay. Or not knowingly. Well, I was you know, tempted once, Shai. Were, were you attempted? What, I, I was tempted once, but uh, no. <laughs> well, I, 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 I do not. <laughs> I personally hate pets. I, I don't like pets. But how can you come up with this question, though? Have you ever done that? No, because I have to tell you. Because every time I go to my friend's place, it looks like cereal. Yeah. It does. Yeah, so yeah. every time it's on the floor or something, I'm almost, not from the floor, <laughs> but I'm almost, whenever I see it, I'm thinking, oh, it's so cute, the stars and everything. But then I feel like, okay, this is not for me. It's for the pets. So wow. that is how I came up with the question. Let's We're move moving on. on. Have you ever stolen Eevee from your siblings? Well, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, how much? Yeah, you, you, need, you need to tell us the amount and, yeah. uh, and what actually happened. Um, uh, once, 500. 500? Okay. And did you take, take it from your sister or your brother? Brother. Did and they did find you, out? Did you tell him? No. Oh. So he does not he know it so know far? Yeah. <laughs> so what's your brother's name? I, uh, it's Faro. Faro Bhai? Well, it was a long time ago. It was, I, I guess, it was 2008. But you can still pay him back, you know, so, since you've spoken about yeah, it. Yeah, I want <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Okay, well, what happened? Uh, I took money from my sister. How much? 500. 500 again. <laughs> wow, that's cool. See, Saudi is working now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, moving on. Uh, have you ever slept? Or Eid Namaz and missed it. Oh, obviously, man. Everybody's going, oh, come on. Yeah, You've never ever missed an Eid no. Namaz. Wow. I go with my father, so, you know. Yeah, every, yeah, yeah, every year. year. Every so year. you've Much never ever missed it. What about you? Repeat the question. Have yeah, you? the question is Have you ever slept on Eid Namaz? Yes. So, so we've got three yeses and one <laughs> no as well. So, congratulations <laughs> to you. You're a great guy. But, but what happened to you? Why couldn't you wake up? Well, I what were you doing last night? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was up for I don't know why, but I was up and uh, like uh, I have slept for multiple times. Like I have uh, missed eat the mass for like uh, ten to twelve times. Oh my god, man! That's uh, not. Good. And he's probably just twenty-two or twenty-three years old too. <laughs> yeah. well. So imagine so like half, half of his life <laughs> <laughs> he's been missing eat the mass. What about you? What happened to you? Well, uh, my brother was here and we were hanging out all the night. See? And uh, we couldn't get some sleep. And definitely could not wake up. And that's what happened. <laughs> he slept at the last minute, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he slept at the last minute, exactly. Uh, we, we were doing, I guess, shopping with my family. And we got late, so we couldn't... So you didn't wake yeah. up. Okay. Oh, what an, what an excuse, eh, shopping. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody has to, you know, go out for Eid prayers. So I, I wonder, man, what time, till what time were you shopping? Yeah. It was five, I guess. Fajr. 
Five so you could have, you, you know, you could have stayed up for another hour, yeah. <laughs> no, because we, uh, we came back to uh, Pakistan on that day. Okay, so oh. you were tired. Yeah. It's all right, it's all right. The excuse is not, you know, cool. <laughs> it's not cool, you guys. You have, sorry? Nothing. Okay, <laughs> we're moving on. Have you been charged for drive, ever been charged for driving in the wrong lane? <laughs> okay, two of you have. Over here in Pakistan. Yes. For driving in the wrong lane. But why so how did you? it happen? <laughs> yeah. uh, I was going to, I was in Southern hmm. and um, I don't remember the road, but it was one way and I was going to the other way. <laughs> Bank oh, road you're right. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That, that, that's something which happens over there, especially <laughs> in need days too as well. What happened with you? Well, uh, not practically a wrong way, but I was taking the U-turn in the wrong lane. Oh, so you so, got, okay, he, he got, they got tickets, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Okay, but, okay, I think everybody's done that. Yeah. So have you ever, ever broken a traffic signal? Come on. No, man. come on, you lie. I don't drive though. <laughs> oh, that's, fine. that's something. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, so the next question I have is, that, I don't know if, I, should I change it? Because uh, I don't think it suits. I think, I think, no, because I think Mubeen cooks too. No, as no, well. I don't. No, not at all? <laughs> no. Well, who cooks out of you guys? I cook. Oh, he cooks. Because obviously, you have to, bro. Otherwise, yeah. you, you can, won't survive. I can boil uh, an egg. Uh, like. a bit. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we'll change the question. Okay, we'll change. So, have you ever taken credit for a composition or a music <laughs> piece that you didn't make yourself? Yes, yes. No. 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 You have? <laughs> <laughs> when was it? Tell us the story. Oh, well, uh, not on any uh, screen or as well. Okay. But uh, I just told... In front of your friends, maybe? Parents. Okay. okay. Yes, okay. Only okay. parents, not the friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, okay, now one last thing which I'm going to ask you that is that, you know, whenever you and your father were alone, did you ever get roasted? I, well, uh, everyone, I think. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah sure, show it with I was uh, uh, quite young when my oh, father Oh, you know, you've got away. potential, oh, you need to do something with your life and all of that. Okay, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure but this happens to everyone, right? Yeah. But okay, this, one of, uh, this was a very fun segment. I loved how we played and you guys, were, most of you were honest, I'm pretty sure. But I have to ask all of you, for a musician, how does it go? I mean, is it like... All of the people coming up to you, yeah, gana suna do na. Matlab, right. You know, whenever there's a family gathering or whenever there's... Abhubi, thoda da dol do Does that happen? Well, this oh. always happens uh, in family gatherings, hmm. especially. I, can, okay. I think we can get them back. But uh, I guess uh, Eid for a musician is hmm. normal. Like, uh, we celebrate Eid like every other Pakistani. Okay. So, it's nothing different than uh, others. But, uh, yeah, we do have to sing in family gatherings. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What about you? What about you? Um, I have this jam room at my place, so whenever someone who has not met me for a long time, you know, they come to my place like, let's go downstairs, <laughs> let's <laughs> play some drums. Right. You play and we'll make the video. <laughs> it's so awkward, you cannot even look at them when you're playing the drums, like, man. <laughs> <laughs> come on, give me a break. So, so ladies and gentlemen, I think, you, you know, these are the things which you need to keep in your head whenever you go to somebody's place and they have a musician at their place. Please don't Be request them. I please. mean, if they're in their zone, they'll do it automatically. Uh -huh, yes. What about you? Uh, it is not necessary, but if I visit my village, they always ask, why don't you bring your guitar? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, bhai, chutiya <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, they are always ask me to bring the guitar so that, that they can hear some songs. Amazing. Hamza, what about you? No. Because nahi. obviously, you know, you, he does not have any family members over here and, I you know, his family members are not even interested to call him to Saudi <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's no, like, I okay, I'm fine, I'm <laughs> I was in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> oh, no, that's, yeah. that, that, that's why. Don't take it to your heart, bro. <laughs> we're, we're just celebrating Eid. So, very quickly, can we have another song then? Yeah, well, uh, uh, we recently covered a track of uh, poetry of uh, Faz Ahmed Faz. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this one is known as Hum Dekhenge. And uh, we have released uh, an uh, audio version of it on yeah. SoundCloud, YouTube okay. and uh, Facebook as well. Very nice. And we are watching Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Woh din ke jiska vada hai Hum dekhenge जो लोहे अजल में लिखा है हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे लाजिम है जब 
makes me think that you know what, what I need to ask you guys is that how are you guys going to spend your uh, this day you know which is E day 2 as well and then your E day 3 are you guys going to go out watch a film well, uh, are you guys uh, or probably you are going to Skype your family to Saudi Arabia yeah, as well sure. so you know let's see well uh, I believe uh, the second day of E is made for hangouts so mm. like uh, this is a hangout day yeah well we would definitely hang out with like our friends and all Okay. Wow, that's it's great. Well, but I have this family dinner at night, so family it's a family Eid day for me. So you know, <laughs> okay. you guys host a breakfast, yeah. and then and then you guys we ask, ask someone to please uh, uh, host you guys <laughs> on, on the because dinner. Because you came to our place for breakfast, no, Correct. we're gonna go to your place. For <laughs> this is how it goes. It's well, that, for that. <laughs> that's great. What about you? Well, probably having a barbecue with the family, okay, okay. or just hang out with the friends. That's it. Well, what do you do when you hang out with your friends? Yeah, it's such a general uh, term. <laughs> mostly barbecue. Plans or probably just talk about different ideas, you know, different things, uh, or just roast one of no, your friends too as well. <laughs> we generally just hang jokes and we all just all go to some uh, hmm. cafe or have have some coffee or just you know. Okay. Shisha probably. Type. No, not. <laughs> <laughs> not shisha. Thank God. Thank God. Hamza <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a barbecue at my friend's place, so I have to go there. So you going to go over there? Yeah. Uh, why aren't you happy about it? <laughs> Are you going to crash the gate or why did you invite me, man? I'm already here. Okay, but that's great. Thank you very much, guys, for Thank joining us. It was you. lovely to have you. Yeah. We're definitely going to listen to one more song. Yeah. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to go for a short break. Don't go anywhere because we're going to call all the other guests who were part of the show. And then we'll close the show together by congratulating and telling each other that we love you and Eid Mubarak. Eid so let's go for a short break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We've actually reached towards the end of our uh, special transmission as well. But the uh, transmission is going to go on the, on the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, there are other shows lined up for you guys. But we're really thankful from the bottom of our hearts uh, to all the guests who've actually made it to the show. Dr. Saiba, Ms. Hina, thank you very much, Gulsab as well. Thank you very much, Maha. Thank you very much, Dhul, the band as well. So once again, a happy Eid Mubarak. I want all of you to say that. One, two, three. Eid happy Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. And let's do it. Let's hit the song. You can clap, right? Hasan Sutala Hasan in the Nashavit, 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 Hasan Sutala Hasan in the Nashavit,
आकर के है जगाया मस्त बनाया आकर के है जगाया मस्त बनाया असा सुखल हस निंद नशे 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 आकर के है जगाया अल्लाह 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 नूर दिहक जा हक हक नूर दिहक जा अल्लाह नूर दिहक जा कजली आई बाद रहंदी बिजली आई बाद रहंदी बिजली आई होश अकल भी गवाया मस्त बनाया होश अकल भी गवाया मस्त बनाया करके है जगाया अल्लाह 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 अल्ल